When you go to make a movie with Robert, and the way he works and his attention to authenticity, obviously you see it all on set, you know in your producer, you, you understand everything, but what was it actually like watching the finished film versus maybe your expectations when you started making the project? It was, uh, I was uh, overwhelmed and it was incredibly emotional. It uh, um, uh, brought back a lot of memories from, from the, the Irish mud when we were crawling around there. <laughs> um, uh, there are, uh, when you shoot a movie this way, it's, uh, since there are no cuts, what you see was exactly what happened and how I remembered it. So um, sometimes when you watch a movie, <clears throat> once after it's gone through a year of editing and, um, and, and, and reshaping sometimes, it, it uh, it can change quite a bit, but this was very, again, there are very few scenes in the movie with cuts. Um, uh, so it it, it, uh, it was very much the way I remembered it. Before I jump into some specifics on the movie, I am curious, if someone has never seen anything you've done, what is the first thing you want them watching and why? The Northman, of course. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, um, it is the, I've never been more uh, involved in a project, deeper involved in a project. I've had the privilege of, of, of being part of this, this journey since the genesis. Um, I've been dreaming of making a Viking movie for well, since I was a kid. Um, and uh, about 10 years ago, Lars Knutson, the Danish uh, producer, and I teamed up in, in trying to figure out a way to, to actually make that happen. Uh, and we were playing around with different ideas and reading the old Icelandic, the Edda poetry, the old Icelandic sagas, and trying to figure out um, uh, which story to base it on. Uh, we, we knew that we wanted to capture the essence of those, um, the kind of the stark, laconic language, the, um, the harshness of it. Uh, but it, it, it wasn't until I met Rob five years ago, um, coincidentally, and it turned out that he had just been to Iceland and um, had fallen in love with the island and the culture, and we started talking about um, Norse mythology and Viking culture, and, and, and that became, um, well, the starting point kind of for this, this, this crazy journey. What was your reaction, actually, when you first saw Robert's other two films? Were you like, this is the guy? Yeah, so I was... Uh, I had I was going to meet Rob five years ago in New York about another project, and um, I just seen The Witch, and I was really really uh, blown away by it. And again, his attention to details, his the, the historical accuracy of it, uh, it really did feel like I was transported back in time. And uh, and I, Lars Knudsen, who is a producing partner on The Northman also uh, produced that film. So I knew what Robert could do with a, on a very, very tight, it's a very small budget movie. And it's, uh, I couldn't believe that when I saw it because it, it, it's, it's the, the world he created is so fantastic. And so uh, the texture of it, it's so rich um, that it felt like the, 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 the perfect director for, for an, a, a, an authentic Viking uh, tale. Listen, there's a lot of in this movie that's just fantastic. But one of the sequences that's just, it blew my mind was obviously when you guys are raiding the village. It's this, I believe it's 90 seconds, continuous. Um, can you sort of maybe take us through or take me through uh, filming that sequence? It was um, uh, exhausting and challenging and exhilarating all at the same time. It was um, a real uh, treat to shoot a scene like that like a long sequence like that and just one long continuous take. Um, I've never done that before. Uh, action movies just aren't done that way. You, it's, a, a, a sequence will have uh, a gazillion cuts and different angles and, and multiple cameras, but to figure out a way to do it in, in just one long shot with one camera on film, um, it's... Uh, <laughs> Sounded like a crazy idea, but <clears throat> and I guess it was because it took a long time. We 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 got together um, 
months before shooting the movie to just plan out the the the, the um, choreography, the the relationship between <clears throat> the actors and the camera, how it would, how we would move, how the camera would move, um, and then and then work on, and try to incorporate that into our training, um, so that the myself and the stunt guys would plan it and go through all the different beats, all the different fights within that sequence. Um, and then going out to a location as, it was, as, as the village was being built and um, looking at the wall. How do you ascend that wall? And how do you move around? And where can we do the hit on the horse? All that kind of stuff. So it was just a tremendous amount of planning because again, when you're, it's also a, my, my character's in a berserker state of mind and uh, so, uh, we had to get through all the technical aspects of it so that when we're there shooting it, I can just stay in that and be Bjorn uh, uh So it, it was just about doing it over and over and over again. With a sequence like that, how many takes could you actually do at one time without like running out of gas, if you will? As many as it takes. There are no cuts, so you can't really settle for like, oh, that wasn't great, but let's move on. It, it, and um, you just have to do it till it, every single um, aspect, every single detail w works perfectly. This was a, I'm sure, an extremely tough project for you to actually make due to the physical demands of the role. Um, is this way of working where it, this authenticity that Robert goes for, is it sort of like an addiction that you think you'd want to apply more of this to like future projects? Mm -hmm. Uh, that uh, devotion, dedication is incredibly inspiring, um, and uh, th this has been the most extraordinary journey uh, of my career. Uh, coming out of that, I, uh, I, I probably I should probably do something very very different next. Like <laughs> uh, I. I just because it was such an amazing experience. I, I can't try to duplicate that. Um, it's probably better to go do a slapstick comedy or something very different. Um, how long? Multiple what? camera sitcom or something. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. What, what, I've spoken to a lot of actors and they talk about how sometimes they go, you know, the performance really, it takes everything out of them and they it takes them a little while to decompress from the role. How long did it take you after wrapping on filming to sort of feel like yourself again? Or were you able to just like flip a switch? I was able to, I was, we were all very exhausted and relieved and excited and, and it, to go through that um, and also to go through it in 2020 before the, during the pandemic, before the vaccine was out um, with a crew of 400 on a, on a mountaintop in Ireland and we're in a pile in, in the mud shooting. It, 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 it's very d difficult to do that in a safe manner, obviously. Um, but we got through it and so I, it, it was such a journey um, that coming out of it was, um, I, yeah, I took a, a, a bit of a break after that um, and a bit of a breakdown. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, no, I, I, I just uh, relaxed and, and, and um, uh, it, you're filled with emotion and, and, and they're all, it's, it, it's a lot going on because you're proud you're, it's, it's a sense of accomplishment. You're uh, relieved that you got through it. You're sad because um, an experience like this is incredibly bonding and intense. So sometimes you're a bit, um, sh you feel a bit shell-shocked coming out of it and, and you're back in civilization and you sit there and then now what? Uh, um, and also, the, it's, it's, there's so much adrenaline and excitement and, and uh, um, input in, during those months that afterwards, uh, it's a little bit like everything just feels a bit uh, bland. Um, so I, yeah, I, 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 I it, it, it um, not that I'm, I'm definitely not a method actor and it wasn't hard to, it wasn't like I walked around and felt like, Bear wolf <laughs> on the streets of New York, but um, I, I could definitely feel the the um, uh, the impact that that experience had on me. What does it mean to you to be number one on the call sheet? And did you feel like 
an added sense of responsibility because you are, you know, you're the lead in the movie and you're also producing and you have this big crew. Could you sort of maybe talk about that? I try to approach uh, every project with the same amount of um, uh, professionalism and commitment, uh, regardless if it's uh, a lead role or a small cameo. Uh, um, I think we were very lucky on this movie. It was an extraordinary, um, extraordinarily committed crew. A lot of the crew members were fans of Robert Eggers and were excited to be there and, 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 and excited to tell this story and build this world. Um, um, I, 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 I never felt that I had to uh, motivate anyone. It was, I never felt that someone was not incredibly excited to be the part of this. Uh, so uh, I, I, I never had to kind of step into that role where it wasn't quite working. Everyone was super fired up and, and we were all like moving in the same direction. I'm sure there's gonna be some people that have not seen a trailer or, um, or know that much about the movie at least two people, uh, what do you, what's most important to you to let people know about the film? Like, is there, is there one or two things you want people to really know about it? I think um, if you haven't seen a trailer and if you know nothing about the movie, uh, that's fantastic. Just go see it and don't listen to my annoying voice. Uh, I think um, some of the strongest cinematic experiences I've had are when I step into the theater and I don't know anything about the movie. I think that's great. So I don't want people to feel something or take away something or just go in there uh, with open eyes. And uh, I, I just hope uh, that it's, uh, it's going to be a, a, a thrilling journey. Your fellow castmates are all so incredible in their roles. Um, could you, I guess, talk, it's so funny, though, with Nicole playing your mom in this. Um, could you sort of talk a little bit about working with Nicole and what do you really enjoy working? What, what, what is maybe your favorite part of working with her as an actor? Nicole and I um, formed a very strong connection, a bond on Big Little Lies. Uh, it was uh, a very difficult journey. The, um, obviously a very dark relationship, incredibly rewarding is so well written and so interesting that relationship but 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 again physically and mentally very very difficult um this is a, a very different relationship we're not husband and wife we're mother son but it's equally uh, dark and um and, and, and disturbing um in in going there going so deep and so into something so dark it's 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 absolutely wonderful when you have a partner whom you trust um and uh having had that i think we, we hit the ground running on the northman because we spent a year together um on big little lies and knew each other so well um and at least i was very excited to be re reunited with nicole um so that that was one of the highlights of of the whole shoot the, the very first day we had was that scene in her um, chambers where, where um, my character basically explains who he is and why he's there. Um, and, and, and after two months of doing big action set pieces, uh, um, to have that scene with Nicole uh, was, was uh, very memorable. Also, that scene is and awesome so oh, you, you know what i mean <laughs> thank um, you. i gotta wrap i'm just gonna say man you are fantastic in this thank you so much for giving me your time oh thank you so much i appreciate it